All right, guys, wanted to show you the centrifugal switch of this dryer motor is from a, a Whirlpool. Now, this is the starting position of the motor when it's off. These outside uh, terminals connect, you see out here, and then the inside terminals, all the inside terminals, they're the ones that connect for the motor. These outside are only for the electric dryer uh, for the heater. So that makes it easy to, you can just knock those out. When the dryer is on, those contacts close and the heater will be able to come on. So um, this right here, this pin is where the uh, L1 comes into the motor. And you can see it's not connected to these guys at all. All right, it's just, it's just alone right there. There's a, another pin back here and a blue wire that comes back to the thermal limiter over here. Look at that. There's our thermal limiter. So from the thermal limiter, goes through it and then out here. And now you can see we have two wires coming out here. One is going to be for the start and the other is going to be for the run winding. Let's go back here, kind of the top view. And so what we got here is this is going to be the start winding and you can see that um, and then this one's going to be the run winding and so back here is the run winding right you can see it's attached to the, the wire going into the motor the coil and uh, this is where neutral is so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the front again so we have L1 we have neutral and we have the start winding right here you see these right now in the start position those are connected these two right here so it will connect neutral through this contact to the start winding now when it um, when the centrifugal switch which is inside here let's see if I can yeah there you go so once it starts spinning this guy goes in when it stops spinning it goes out like this and then inside here trying to you can see that white arm right there when I push the centrifugal switch it goes up and down and that correlates to the white arm inside here that goes up and down as well so you can see it goes like this up and down so this one when it's in the up position there is no there's no pad it connects to but this one toggles between two positions two two pads one is for the start winding here and the other is this one right here and I redrew this because actually the thermal limiter right here is not in the schematic when it should be on wash motors uh, you will see it there but I don't know why they didn't include it in the dryer motor so you can see that uh, two and one on the outside are correlated to the schematic for the heater. And then you have M4, which is uh, L1, coming to where the blue wire goes. Uh, and then the neutral is pin five right there. Then you have the opening of the uh, start winding contacts uh, and bypassing of the push to start switch right there. And I know you guys want me to turn it on um, so I can tear up my bench. I'm going to do just that. Hope I'm going to turn it on. Hopefully I won't tear up my bench. But, all right, here goes nothing. I'm going to got my uh, current meter here, my amp clamp. Let's uh, take a look and see what it does. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, but anyways, thanks for watching.